So Jerry Stackhouse, kind enough to join us on what's a big day. Your team makes it to the finals and, and coach, you're the coach of the year. And I want to start with that because as I was telling you before we started, I, I just have such appreciation and respect for the path you're taking because it's unusual. You could have stayed in the comfortable NBA and been on, an assistant on the bench, but you've been the head coach. What's been the greatest benefit for you in doing that? Well, just the experience of, 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 you know, making the decisions, man. Obviously, it was great last year being on Coach Casey's staff and making the suggestions, but now everything's on you. You have to make those decisions from, you know, player, from uh, coaching decisions to the train, dealing with the training staff, dealing with media. I mean, it's all a, it was a great experience for me, but the, great, the best part of it was having a great group of guys, man, that really, you know, bought into you know, the, the system of what we're trying to do and, and really setting goals early on and putting us in a position to be where we are today and all of the other, you know, the good things, the, the coaching of the year and, the, you know, all-star, all those things were great, but the best part of it is seeing those guys and how excited they are right now, you know, to, to have an opportunity to get two more wins and win it all. Were there any moments, Coach, when you look around at wherever you are, it's a gym and it's maybe a, a, a town you hadn't been in and you think, what in the hell am I doing? Yeah, I was um, Prescott, Arizona. That's that, that. That was I had that that old wild moment, man. Just driving through, flying into Phoenix and driving to Prescott, and I'm like, what am I doing? But it, but it's all worth it, man. When you're sitting here and standing here, moments like that. But there's some really cool places, man. I mean, the team we just played, um, Maine Red Claws, going to Portland, Maine. It's it's, it's a diamond in the rough, you know. Some really good, really good restaurants there. I'm a foodie, so nice. I, I enjoy some of these uh, places that we went to and had an opportunity to learn a little bit about some places that otherwise I probably would never know about. Okay, and basketball it, take you a lot of places. I know that's right, but it, it, obviously, what what the goal is is to take you back to the league and. Do you have a game plan in mind about what that path looks like, Jerry? Man, I really came into this season with, you know, open-minded to it. Uh, you know, I was in such a good situation last year with Toronto and being with those guys, but, you know, being able to hone my skills a little more, I kind of took a leap of faith to, to figure out. I know at some point I'm always just going to be, do you have head coaching experience? And I think now I've right. proven that I've had head coaching experience, but at the same time, I'm in, you know, no rush. I'm, I'm thankful and, 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 and honored and humble for the opportunity that Masai and Jeff Weltman and, and Casey, those guys, they, they hired me. So I'm going to try to finish my job here and do what I have to do. And then whatever the, the future lies to me, I, I hope it's bright and hope I can continue to carry on and do the same things I've done so far. I know this much. There is no one in the D-League and maybe not in the NBA that dresses cleaner than you. I'm staring at that pocket square and I'm trying not to look directly at it because I'm, I don't want to lose. I don't want to go blind, man. You look fantastic and uh, congratulations on, <laughs> on the brother. award uh, tonight and uh, best of luck in the finals. I, I accept that accolade above all of them. Thank you, bro. <laughs> all right, coach. Be good. <laughs>